Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amara and this is Amara's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video and would like to see more, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for new videos uploaded weekly. Today I'm going to be talking about something really exciting. I have the Natasha Denona bronze palette and the bronze cheek face glow palette and the three lip colours that came that was launched recently. First of all I thought we would look at the palette itself. So the palette is a very lovely sized palette. This palette has 15 eyeshadows in there so it is pretty full. We're looking at 24 month shelf life made in Italy. Uh, it says here alcohol free, mineral oil free, uh, not tested on animals and and yeah, let's take a look. There's a, a mixture of matte eyeshadows, metallic duochrome crystal eyeshadows as well. With the matte eyeshadows, they recommend that you apply with fluffy eyeshadow brushes to blend or detail brushes for precision. With the metallic duochrome chroma crystal eyeshadows, they say apply with a dense eyeshadow brush for a subtle finish for high payoff. It says here, foiled finish, apply with a damp eyeshadow brush or with the tip of your finger. So we will just experiment and have a look together. So I'm just going to open up the pack. It's in this lovely bronze packaging. So as you can see, this is the palette. Oh, and it's it's absolutely stunning. It's absolutely stunning. I don't really know, don't know what to say. A huge, huge mirror, but you can see, I just wanted to show you how pretty it was and how user-friendly it is. I actually haven't reviewed any Natasha Denona, but I have a huge Natasha Denona collection. I've been collecting her probably the past couple of years. I fell in love with her after having seen some of her shadows whilst I was in Australia. I did a little bit of swatching, realized that the pigmentation was beautiful and I was like, who is this Natasha Denona? And she's a, a makeup artist herself. So she understands pigments, she understands what looks good. And yeah, I just love her eyeshadows. I think Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona are probably one of my top two favorite when it comes to formulation and pigmentation. There are some that are coming through the ranks now. So as you've seen, Suku are amazing. And then there's some other brands that have just been coming through really, really well. But yeah, that's the palette. So what I thought we could do today is, I'll show you it up close. I really want to create a really lovely bronze look so you can see what this looks like as well as the cheek palette as well. I've got one of the Sonia G brushes. This is her classic crease brush, but I thought we could go in with a, a matte color and then we could then build. So let's try. I quite like the look of either Sundown, Ridge or Beach because they're all matte colors and they would make really lovely transition colors as well. I might tap Beach and see how I get on with Beach first. Oh, that's lovely. I don't know if you can see that. It looks really, really nice. I'm going to try beach on this side as well. It's a lovely, lovely color. The, the, the pigmentation is beautiful. So, so soft, soft and creamy. I'd expect nothing less from her, but this is beautiful. And then I'm gonna go in with another color. So I might take suntan and just use that as a kind of crease color. I'm just gonna go on the outer V with suntan. I don't know if you can see that, but that's gorgeous. And the pigmentation is so good. I didn't even have to tap in to the product that much. It came out straight away. I don't know if you can see that, but it is beautiful. And then what I'm going to do is take one of these sort of more shiny colors. And I think I'm gonna just place it on top of the center of my eyelids. I'm gonna keep this look really simple. And then I might put a slightly darker color. So there's magma, which is drawing my attention. And I might use magma because it's a matte color just, just under on my lower lash line. But let's start off with the color to go on top. I'm being drawn by all these colors. I think high degree is calling out my name. So let's try high degree. So I'm gonna use a denser brush for high degree. The color is a little bit more fixed. So let's use the jumbo blender and I'm just gonna tap into 
to high degree now and I'm getting the colour come off. And I'm just putting it in the centre of my lid and oh my god, it's beautiful. So I'm just going to put that in the centre of the lid and then what I might do is take a sort of lighter colour and put that on the inner corner of the eye just to give it a little bit of pop. So the colour that I'm thinking potentially might be silk, potentially. Let's give silk a go. Okay, so I've got the Sonia G Pencil Pro and I'm going to go into silk and I'm just going to tap into that slightly. Uh, like I said, the colour is just so pigmented and I'm just going to go into the inner corner of the eyes and just create a little bit of a highlight just on the inner corner but oh my god I love this palette already and then I'm just gonna go just a little bit on the outer bit and then what I could even do is just take a little bit of that silk and just put it on my brow bone just there just to give it a little bit of shimmer and do the same with the other side and then maybe just a little bit on my cupid's bow but I don't know I'm gonna go in a bit closer so you can see the colors shortly And then just as I had explained earlier, I think Magma will look really nice under the sort of lower eyelid. So I'm gonna take Magma, which is this beautiful sort of burgundy shade. And I'm gonna put this just under my eyes. Oh my God, it's beautiful. You don't even need a liner for this. This is how pretty it is you're gonna see now. And what I might do is just take Magma and just take it up a little bit, just so it goes up a little bit on the edges, just to give it, take it out a little bit on both sides. But I'll go in closer and you can see this in a minute now and I think you're gonna really like this. It's beautiful. I'm astonished. I didn't think it was going to look this good. So I'm absolutely, I'm loving this palette and I'm loving the colours. I think there is so much to play with and I, I'm looking forward to exploring this palette. I think it's gorgeous. So now we've done that, I think we should look at the bronze cheek. I think it's something that we should explore because it is beautiful. So the bronze cheek, it says here, yeah, it's made in Italy, uh, paraben free, not tested on animals. There's a bounce cream glow, a bounce cream blush, super glow bronze and a super glow nude. Um, it says pat the bounce cream glow onto the highest points of your cheeks using your fingertips, follow with applying the bounce cream blush and onto apples of your cheek using your fingertip or a blush brush. And then it says apply the super glow bronze onto lower points of cheekbones and eyelids. Finish with the super glow nude applying onto the highest points of the cheek bridge of the nose and cupid's bow so let's have a look this is the cheek palette and i'll show you that what i love about natasha denona products and it's very similar to the patrick tar ones that i've reviewed recently is you get a plastic cover that goes over the sort of cream part so that they don't interfere with the powder which is really really you know a very useful thing to have so let's follow her instructions so it says here pat the bounce cream glow onto the highest points of cheeks using your fingertips so the bounce cream glow is the one on the yellow side other side so I'm just gonna put that so it says to pat it onto the highest points of the cheekbones using your fingertips so I'm just gonna do that like that there and that's sort of my highest point I don't know if you can see that it's definitely coming through really really pretty it's very very natural and then I'm gonna do the other side that's 
gorgeous absolutely gorgeous really really nice and then it says next part of the instructions and if you can see that follow with applying the bounce cream blush which is the one on the this side which is this is the bounce cream glow that I've just done that's the bounce cream blush that I'm about to try follow with applying the bounce cream blush onto apples of your cheek using your fingertips or a blush brush so I've got the Wayne Goss one of the brushes from his collection that I recently bought so I'm just going to go in with that and let's just see it's not actually coming out very well on the brush so I'm going to use my fingers so I'm just going to use my fingers to do this and then this part is meant to go on the apples of my cheeks. I'm just going to do that. So I just smile to get my apples of hearing. It's really, really nice. And then the last, uh, the next two sections, it says apply the super glow bronze onto the lower points of the cheekbones and eyelids. So the super glow bronze. So I'm just going to use my fingers again onto the lower points of the cheekbones. So maybe here. What I love about Natasha Denona products, it's all about layering, layering, layering. So we've got one color and now I've gone on with another color. And then it's kind of giving it a really lovely sort of finish because the products are being layered on top of each other. So that is that section. And it's kind of changed the colour. It's made it really iridescent, really nice. I don't know if you can see that in the light. It's beautiful. Wow. And then the last one, it says, finish with the super glow nude, applying onto the highest points of the cheek, bridge of the nose and Cupid's bow. So I'm just taking that color. So I'm just gonna do a little bit on the Cupid's bow, a little bit on the brow bones. And then I think it said bridge of the nose. Well, I don't want really to focus on my nose too much because I don't really want it to be shiny. So I'm just gonna put it on these points but I don't know if you can see it is really really pretty my god wow I am glowing glowing let me have a look at this Natasha Denona you are exceptional that is beautiful I feel like I'm out of just a bit on holiday or something it's beautiful. Okay, so that is the eye palette and that is the cheek palette. Now we're going on to the three different lip gloss and balms. So I will try each individual one and I'll just do the look, complete with this look with the balms. So I am going to start, there's three of them. So let's uh, have a look at all of them. So we have chestnut, which is a kind of more rich kind of chocolatey color. And then we have tan nude, which is more of a nude, very nude color. And then finally we have caramel, which is probably my perfect color, my perfect nude. So it's really whatever you'd like to do. You could even do like, because of the way the colors are, you could do an ombre effect. So you could have the dark color on the outside and then the light color in the middle. But for today, I'm going to show you all of these colors on my lips and I'll do them individually so you can see. So let's start off with the lightest color.
So this is the final look with all the three swatches now of the lip fourriers. There is a little bit of tingling when you first put these lip fourriers on and then it kind of subsides so it's not there for a, a whole time or anything but they are all really pretty in their own way and I really like them all. Yeah, so with regards to the collection, I am so impressed with this collection. I have a lot of other Natasha Denona products and I can't wait to do more videos to show you all of the products that I have because I think you are going to love them. They blend so easily, this particular collection. The cheek is gorgeous, the cheek palette, the eyeshadows are so beautiful, really giving that bronzing look and I really love it. And the lip colours are all really, really pretty. So it's such a really good collection. I I would say you can't go wrong with any of them. You pick up the palette, you're going to have lots of fun with the different looks. If you pick up the cheek palette, as you can see, it's really, really versatile and really lovely. And I can imagine it will look really nice on different skin tones. And the same goes with the lip products. I think they're going to look really nice with different skin tones as well. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like Natasha Denona, if you've tried any of her products, I would love to hear and I would love to hear your thoughts on what you think really of the collection. So yes, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for new videos uploaded weekly and I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.